Wireless Fixer here and this is the Hackintosh Tutorials and today I'm just going to be showing you a tip of multi beast so let's get to it so basically you're just going to need multi beast where you can just get off the Tony Mac website so you have to obviously be registered and then you just want to go to downloads then you just want to find multi piece so I'm on Mountain Lion so I'll just click this one and you just want to click download and it will download so then you just want to run it and as you can see it's here open so you just want to click continue 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 and agree so basically what multi piece is is basically it's, it's like the way the drivers are installed on the Hackintosh but um, if you know more about Hackintosh you'll know about Kext which are basically manually installing Kext so that's basically like installing drivers manually so what Multibeast does is that it basically gets all the Kext and it installs it for you so you just gotta tick boxes so Easy Beast, Easy Beast installation is usually for the people that um, have a certain type of motherboard which is on the Tony Mac database and which allows it to just install like the main type of kex but this will not include the graphics and audio but um if you are if you do want to try it out if you just if you just want to experiment with it you can give it a shot it won't harm your computer um so with this is that it says use use a DSTT or DSTT free installation Whenever you install something on this um, multi beast, you always have to check that. So either you have one or you don't, you're still gonna have to check it. So if you drop down drivers and bootloaders, normally you really don't need bootloaders because you can just use Chimera. So if I show you right here, go to documents and go Hackintosh. Chimera, that's usually your bootloader, which you also get from Tony Mac. You just download it from there. So you won't really need the bootloaders. So if you drop down driver and bootloaders and then drivers, um, you can drop down audio. And now depending on which motherboard you have, and um, yeah, depending on which motherboard you have is is the driver you need. So basically, if you do your research, and usually if you have um, a well-known Hackintosh motherboard, so that's like mine. What I'm using is a Gigabyte um, D Z77 DS3H and that board is very compatible so basically you just gotta do your research and experiment on which drivers will work and which won't so for me I just drop down audio and then I'll drop down Realtek ALC8XX and then you can choose if you have a DSDT or if you want to do it without a DSDT so as my board is a Z77 DS3H you don't need a DSDT for it so I'll just drop down without DSDT and then basically from my research and what I've seen is that this ALC887 slash 888B is the driver for my audio that works. For my graphics on this um, particular motherboard, the, as I said the Z77 DS3H, it automatically installs when I install Multibeat so there's no need for me to drop down the graphics because it automatically does. The only extra thing I need to drop down is network, and with that, um, what I have noticed as well that when I install Windows 7 on this, and I install the um, the Gigabyte CD, the driver installation which came with the motherboard, I noticed that the driver was this Atheros as well. So I did do my research, and it was this one. So I did select it, and obviously you can see that the internet does work with my Ethernet. I do not have a Wi-Fi card right now and I don't think I'll be needing one so that's that one now for other people you might need the graphics do your research you might need the Nvidia or you can do the Intel graphics um, what else is the bootloaders as I said before you don't really need it and there's Chimera in here but um, from the Chimera usually from Tony Mac is usually the updated version but most of the time it's the same in here as well but I'll rather get a separate um, customization is basically for um, there's like themes so you can change as let's just say there was like yeah, about this Mac as you can see that um, 
I click more info as you can see it says Mac Pro and then the picture um, there's, there's ways of like changing it of the pictures and stuff and also as you can see like the layout of this is kind of the blue and kind of grey or from told, um, from multi beats you can change it to black or white you can have it remixed which is like a special multi beats type and then there's the chameleon default which is just basically the type of bootloader kind of theme and then there's the SSDT options which is basically for you don't, I don't really need to go deep into this because if you just go in multi beats and you just select them it gives you like the brief description of what it's for as you can see at the bottom and then you don't really need the other types of ones and sometimes that you might have a type of problem where in multi beats you cannot um, just say your audio might not be working um, there is ways of get manually installing Kex into um, your Hackintosh which will allow it to work but that's it for now all I can say is that on the hardware you get you do your research on it so you know what's what and you get whatever, most everything working as you can see I've got everything working mine's running in 1080p HD and I've got full audio working I've got a Bluetooth stick in which is very good as well so that's it um so thanks for watching please comment subscribe and rate